Hey everybody, Rick's here. In this video, what we're gonna do is take a look, a close look, at the AFMAT Super Long Point Pencil Sharpener. They advertise that this sharpener can sharpen pencils from six millimeter to 12 millimeter. Well, we're gonna put it to the test. So let's take a close look at this pencil sharpener. Looking at the box here, we see super long point pencil sharpener. And let's see, on the back, nothing, nothing. Here we go, now we have some information here. It says it features super long point up to 17 millimeter, suitable for six to 12 millimeter pencils. Two pencil nib options, you can have super sharp or a blunt tip. It's a fast sharpen with an auto stop, stainless steel helico blade, and it has an easy solution to removing broken lead. Okay, so let's tear her open and see what we got here. Okay, the big plus. A lot of pencil sharpeners do not come with a plug-in for their sharpeners, they usually just give you a USB cable. You have a power unit here. This is really good. I'm glad to see that. You know, I have plenty of those USB charging cords, but you know, you tend to run out of those electrical, you know, the part that you would plug into the wall, then you put the USB in there, the USB charger, I guess is what we could call it. And here, we have a power plug. So, this is nice. And it's not USB. It has one of these little tips. You can see right here, plastic cap. Woo! Ouch! And the sharpener itself. All right, let's get the box out of the way. Let's see what we have here. Okay, now this has the familiar look of other AFMAT sharpeners where it starts with a thicker base and then it kind of slims down a little. And you can see where it says open right there. And you would turn this top part for it to be removed. And I'm gonna draw your attention to the, um, what you have here is the clamping system. When you shove your pencil in there, let me go get a pencil. Whew. Okay, so, here are some charcoal pencils that I that I have that tend to, uh, and this one is not even a wood one. This is all solid charcoal here. And then these are wood encased. Here's a wood encased carbon. And here's a 9XXB, which is a hybrid. Here's a medium charcoal. So these are some charcoals. But let me also get some color pencils, my Arteza Expert color pencils. Let's see how it does with color pencils. Big old Pure North 3B. That is one of the big jumbo size pencils. I don't know what millimeters it is, but I am basically grabbing different pencil sizes that you would normally deal with. And here's a, here's a woodless pencil right there. Different size. This is going to be the thickest one I have. This big, old, big one here, and the 9XXB. These usually have trouble uh, fitting into many pencil sharpeners that don't have the bigger holes in it. So we're going to test this thing out now. This clamping mechanism. You're going to see how that works as you stick your pencil through. Okay, it separates, and so that's how it holds the pencil in there. All right. Okay, so we have that and we have the cover here just pops right out. You have your helical blade here. All right, and taking a look inside, it's a, it's a single helical as opposed to a double. Okay, and then you just turn this thing and you'll be able to remove it if you have to replace it or whatever. I don't want to mess with it too much. Let's see. Oops, I already did. Too late. 
All right, so that just pulls out like that and your blade is right there, okay? And then we're gonna put that puppy back on. Turn this until it finds this little slot there that it has to go in. Okay, well this will be interesting to see how this thing works. All right, push that in, close it, and let's power this thing up. And let's, uh, let's test this thing out, okay? So here in the back, is where the power cable goes. All right, what's this back here? All right, nothing. All right, so this requires power to it. Okay, so it's not a battery operated. You remember that? Okay, now here in the front, you can see that it has blunt and sharp. I wanna go with sharp first. Let's see if I can get this thing uh, sharpened. The 9XXB pencil is one of the thicker pencils, one of the bigger ones. They don't fit into standard pencil sharpeners. Uh, often what I would have to do is shave this down with an X-Acto blade in order to get it to fit into those sharpeners. Well, let's see if this thing will do the trick now. I'm gonna barely push this in, past the old clamp olas. Okay, let's hear the auto stop work. Ooh, it stopped. OMG, G, G, G. Oh, oh. Excuse me for my excitement there. Look at this. Nuts. That's nuts. Look at that point. That, that is nuts. Okay, it sharpens the thicker pencils, but even better, it didn't even break the tip, but it made this really skinny long tip. And I'll tell you what this is good for. This here is good for very, very fine details. Okay, and you're gonna have to be gentle because this is a hybrid pencil. It's part like carbon, part graphite. But if you get in there and you just wanna do Small details, okay, make sure you see it on the camera. Oh, this is great, look at that point. Oh my word, this, the way this is going, this is gonna probably be my next favorite pencil sharpener to be put next to my drawing table. But we will find out after we see how it handles charcoal pencils, because. I hate having to sharpen charcoal pencils. You have to do it with a knife because none of the sharpeners will handle them without breaking them. So far this is promising, but this is half graphite, which is a little bit harder than charcoal. So, you know, but it definitely does bigger pencils. And we're also gonna test the blunt setting too because you may not, for regular writing purposes, you don't want a tip that long. That's just crazy. All right, here is a fat, AKA thick, Conte a Potty Pier Nord 3B France 1710 pencil. It's a soft, that's what I wanted, high quality. It's very thick uh, or wide or dimension, you know, it's big pencil. And it easily breaks in pencil sharpeners. Let's see how this pencil sharpener can handle it. All right, here we go. Oh, please, I hope this works. Ah! Okay, press it through the clamping mechanism until it engages the motor. And we'll wait for auto stop. We have auto stop, please. Mm, it broke it. That would have been one long. Now you don't want your charcoal pencils like that, so we'll probably try the blunt setting, but I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna waste a quality charcoal pencil for this test for you guys, okay? But let's see if we can get a long point on it, and then we'll test the blunt. I think the blunt's probably gonna be the more reasonable one for this, maybe, we'll see. We'll probably even try in between, too. You know what, I'm gonna try, is there an in-between? No. It's, I can try to put it in between, but it has a stop on both ends. Okay. 
So let's let's try the blunt first, okay? Just to see if we can do charcoal pencils. Because that that I don't know if I'd want a point like that on my charcoal. I do want it for my graphite pencils and even the hybrid, which it does really well. Having that uh, graphite in there makes it a little stronger. That's why it's so hard to sharpen these charcoal pencils. Let's try this again though. That's quite a blunt. Let's see if it'll, if it'll keep going or if it's just, that's it. It broke it. All right, if the lead is broken, hands the blade, insert a hard pencil and press it down with two kilograms of pressure. How do you know what two kilograms of pressure is? Let me go get a regular pencil. Here's a hard pencil. This is a 4H Mitsubishi. So let's push it down. Not much of my pencil left. Okay, there we go. That was on the blunt setting and I don't have much of a 4H pencil left. Probably should have used the cheap one. One of my good drawing pencils. I'm gonna give this one more try here for the charcoal pencil before we say no to charcoal, all right? As delicately as I can, delicately. I got it on blunt. I'm gonna work my way up to it. Okay, so far so good. Okay, we can do it, we can do it. All right, we did it, okay? Here's my suggestion so far. Can it sharpen charcoal? Yes. But don't take it all the way to auto stop. Stop it periodically and um, that's a perfect sharpen. I'll be happy with that. Yep. You go in too far. In other words, you go to where you get a super duper point, like you can draw blood with it, then you're likely gonna snap that puppy off. So don't do that. And we'll test it again with some of the other charcoal pencils. But this here, as you already saw, is the softest one I have. And it, uh, it definitely um, broke it a couple of times. So work, work up to it. And this will save you time over a, a razor blade. Here, let's try another charcoal pencil. Here's a medium one from Castle Art Supplies. All right, let's give this a shot. That went straight to a point. Okay, now I have this on blunt, so I guess they call that a blunt point. It goes to a tip, but it just has a flat surface. But there you go, a medium charcoal pencil, success. And I sharpen that all the way to the end. How about a woodless, a woodless graphite pencil? Here's an HB woodless graphite pencil. So how's that gonna work? Well. I'm gonna put it on point, turn it into a weapon. Well, look at that. 
Okay, and that was on point. So this would be good for details. Oh yeah, very fine details, freckles, all kinds of things. Lines on the face. Boy, look at these points. Look at that, can you see that in the camera? Boy, those are some sharp points. So far, I am impressed, I am. Um, now that I know how to handle my softest charcoal pencils. Now here's the carbon sketch from Generals. And this one here will break really easy in a sharpener. Let's see, I'm gonna put it on blunt. I don't need to go to a super point with a carbon. Let's see if we can sharpen this, okay? And again, I'm gonna go and work my way up to it just to make sure. Oh, and don't put too much pressure. I, my arms tend to push a little harder than normal, I guess, whatever normal is. So, so just a little pressure activates the motor. Okay, I'm gonna go for some more. Glutton for punishment. There you go, soft carbon. All right, another success. Okay, and here we have a Maria's charcoal pencil. Okay, and it, it, it seems to be encased just like a woodless pencil in a kind of a plastic, thin plastic. You must dip it in. Just like the woodless pencils have this kind of a clear plastic that kind of holds the graphite together. Let's see how it deals with this charcoal pencil. And again, I'm gonna work my way up to it. I don't wanna break anything, right? All right, here we go. So far, so good. Oh boy, look at that puppy. Wow. Now that's a point. You know, I'm happy with the blunt because all it does is it just, it just gives you a flat tip, but look how small that tip is. You don't need a needle point tip unless you want to do like extreme, extreme, extreme details, like really tiny little things which I don't see the point, uh, no pun intended. Okay, now for all of you out there who like color pencils, okay, I have some color pencils here. These are the uh, Expert, Arteza Expert color pencils. Let's see if how it will sharpen those, okay. That works really good. All right, well, I don't want to have to sharpen my other color pencil because it works great. All right, and now I got me a bunch of shavings in here. Let me show you how to empty this thing out. You just unscrew the top. It says open and has an arrow. Just turn that and dump. That's it. Put the top back on, screw it back counterclockwise and you're good to go. All right, everybody. Well, you can see that I absolutely love this pencil sharpener and I am going to put it next to my uh, drawing table. And the reason why I really love this is not only will it handle the big round pencils, the wide diameter pencils, and they say up to 12 millimeter. I'm not really going to test, you know, like put a, a, a gauge on here or anything because there's no point. This is like the fattest pencil that I'd ever come across drawing. And uh, also the 9XXB is a fat pencil here. I call it fat. It's, you know, wide diameter pencils. Don't usually fit into most pencil sharpeners. It will fit easily in this. 
And as we have just discovered, you and I together, it will handle charcoal, it will handle colored pencils, it will handle graphite, and it will handle various size thickness pencils. We also notice that the blunt uh, gives you a, a, a good enough point for drawing, for writing, whatever. But if you just happen to want something very deadly, you go to the point, it will make a crazy point. I mean, hello, that's a crazy point. It will definitely do that. And we also discovered together that if you're gonna put very soft pencils like charcoal, work your way up to that point, check it as you go along. Don't necessarily go all the way to the auto stop because you may go to the point where it's so, so pointy, it will snap it right off. And you don't need it like that. This is great. So I'll be able to sharpen my charcoal pencils with this, which is so important to me. Well, I hope you love this product review or just mildly like it. And if so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so you'll be informed of my upcoming videos. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks again. See ya. Bye.